Summer has arrived, and Appalachian Wireless has a great sale on the world's hottest smartphone from now to the end of the month. You can get the amazing iPhone 13 for more than half off because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Previously known as Billy's, BitSource will be rebranding its NFT collection to Pixel Bubbies. As part of the change, BitSource will also be transitioning from Matic to Ethereum in hopes of enabling the region to more easily purchase NFTs. So yeah, we had created this project initially and we were calling it Billy's and we really wanted to create an NFT project that people in our local kind of area could maybe like get behind and adopt and then make it affordable so if somebody wanted to learn about an NFT that they could uh, relatively inexpensively. Um, and we tried launching on like a less expensive network that's like a layer two or three, it's called Matic. Um, and then that just proved to be kind of cumbersome and I think we realized that the market here might not be that into NFTs yet or know that much about them. Um, so we switched to Ethereum and then we launched it like last Saturday and then you know a lot of people we've had like 600 plus different um, unique wallets uh, download or mint pixel bubbies um, and then there's been 15,700 some minted of the 22. While the purpose of the change is to help the region become more interested in NFTs, May says he hopes the change will help progress the region to the use of the technology. Um, I hope it just kind of ups our game on you know what we're involved in and um, what we have expertise in. Um, I think art is just kind of like the beginning for NFTs. I think they'll have a lot more practical use uh, in the future. Like you think about. Um, property deeds or something like that where this chain of title or custody of title could really come into play um, and it, it could make you know systems like property and deed management um, a little more like efficient it would require wider adoption which would maybe be a challenge but you know who knows what that would look like in the future so yeah I hope it just ups our kind of openness to the advancement of different technology tools and how they could apply to a variety of um, industries. To learn more, you can visit billies.io. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.